Hi and welcome to AFTV. I have ex-Arsenal player Johan Drew with me. Brother, it's lovely to see you. Nice to see you It's lovely to see you. We've just won 4-2 at yeah. Stamford Bridge. I just want to get first to your, your thoughts on the performance from the boys today. Man, they were hungry. Mm. You know, that's what I like, really. Like, Eddie, like I felt that, uh, you know, every losing ball, he was after it. I think that the composure, the thing that they never panicked, you know, I think that the team showed what they didn't show in the last three games. Yeah. You know, like I think the character and the thing that we sh show that we can play against those yeah. big boys. You yeah. know? Like those guys beat Real Madrid, you know, they could have been in the semi-final of, the, of the, the Champions League. Mm -hmm. But I think Arsenal were like today we didn't look like didn't. I mean, like we deserve to win. So I'm saying that we didn't like steal anything yeah. in that game. Yeah. Like, were you surprised by that for how young the side is as well? No, I think that no, I can't be. I can't say I'm surprised because we've seen it. We've seen it against Liverpool. Yeah. Like I, even though they lost, mm -hmm. then maybe as you say, City. Then there was those three games where we lose, where we can always say, yeah, they're young and whatever. Mm -hmm. But they show you today on a day where they are playing big boys that they can turn it on. Yeah. So I think now we just want to see it again. I was speaking to Granite right now, and okay. I, and I said to him. Like now you have to keep it going. Yes. And he said to me, yeah, that's what you know, like. You showed it today. Mm -hmm. Show it again on Saturday. <laughs> that's what, <I laughs> that's, that's, that's what, that's what that's we're all asking. We exactly. Yeah. That's what we want. We're so all asking let's that. let's see if they can do it. But I mean, the performance, the the, the way they, they they work, the way they defended, uh, it's always a tough place to come in. So now, nah, well done, the, well done to the boys. Big up. And last word, just quickly on Mikel Arteta and how he's doing. You know, he's, he's had he's had up and down season. It's been a roller coaster. So that is football, though. Yeah. New manager. Um, what are your thoughts been on him this season? Do you still believe in him? Do you think he's going to get these boys to where we want to see them? I think at the end of the day, it will depend on where we end up. Yeah. I think yeah, you know. True. I it's think true. it's hard to, to. I think there's been some good bits mm -hmm. and some less good bits, but that's the way of a coach. You know. I think that you see Tuchel with Chelsea has great times and less good times. Mm -hmm. Of course, it is a different situation around the club. You see the big boys only that are con consistent Liverpool and City. Yeah. The other ones are a bit, they have form like a good run and then less form. But I think that he bought something. I think that some, today I saw an, an identity. Yes. I saw something, I saw some heart, mm -hmm. you know, I saw, I saw players fighting. Mm -hmm. So if we finish fourth, then we all be happy, I think. Yes, we all, I, yeah, we, we all want that it. Champions yeah. League spot. And if we don't, then we have to see what we really want and what's the direction of the club want to take you know if you want to start again from zero with a new coach and a new mm -hmm. philosophy maybe a better name but who wants to come and who will come to the club oh, where yeah, you don't play Champions League, League football exactly. and that so we have to take all those things into consideration but I think we're still in the run so yeah. I don't want to put my hand and say you know <laughs> what's going to happen but I'm still hoping that he can do the job and bring the, the team to, to the fall, to that fall spot. Perfect yeah. thanks so much and last thing do you miss it after watching nights like this do you miss this? <laughs> if I miss it now man I'm happy for the boys like I remember when we won here I think it was 5-3 yeah. the last time we, we, we played here so I have good memories of the bridge really like uh, most of the time I think I've won, like oh, you know, yeah, 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 I've no, won, yeah. not I've won, but like the With team the team, won, yeah. so, um, nah, but you know what, I, I love that, and seeing the away fans, you oh, know, like, today. you know what I like, is that I just want that, to have positivity in this club, yes. you know, and because so I think, you know, you know what I'm me, saying, it's like, trust me. you have tough patches, you know, that's football, but I just want, like, those guys to be behind those guys, because they deserve it, today they showed it, I know you can be disappointed in Crystal Palace or something, yeah, Brighton and Southampton, Brighton but, and that. But, but you know, like, Southampton, they could have won the game, mm. and they should have won the game, mm -hmm. but it's football, but now I just want to, those kind of, of performance to be our blueprint and consistency, so I hope that we can get it against Manu. My man. Bravo. So as you know guys, this is it bro. We're on our way to Nigeria, Lagos. Here we come. AFTV is coming. Yes, I am very, very happy. I'm excited. Very happy to be taking some people back home, you know. <laughs> some people that took three flights to, to their home in Ibadan. I'm about to tell them how many flights they're about to take. So I'm very, very happy. Very happy. So Ty, come on man. You must be excited. Your first time in Nigeria. Ty, do you even have a passport? Well...
Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.